Greetings, beautiful beings. This is your daily tarot and guidance reading for on and around April 14th, 2022. This is a pick a card style reading, and we will be using two different decks. We have the Romance Angel Oracle deck, and we also have the Smith White Tarot deck in a Game of Thrones theme. I'm feeling very amorous this week, so I'll be doing more love readings. Um, now there are three different groups to choose from, and each group is represented by a different stone. We have the first group represented by the Rose Quartz, the second group is represented by the Tiger's Eye, and the third group is represented by this beautiful blue lapis lazuli. So if you would like, you can certainly go into the description box below and click on your timestamp to go directly to your reading, or you can pause the video to see and feel which grouping resonates with you. All right, let's get started with the first reading, and that's represented by the Rose Quartz group. Your romance card is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Here you have these two ladies almost laughing at this guy, and you have an angel above shooting zeros like, haha, you're falling in love, but you didn't expect it to be with him. You know, it's fun. It's funny how we can have an idea in our mind on who our perfect person would look like or should be and then the person that we actually connect with and click with click with and love is just something that we never expect but the feelings are there right have you have any of you watched love is blind it's very interesting so let's get some clarification on why you need to keep an open mind today um so here you have the king of swords in the upright position which is an illustration of the Night King. Um, he's the big bad guy in the series. And then you have the Moon Door. Ooh, in reverse. So I'm getting an indication today that perhaps there's something that you wanted to um, take, that you feel like you had to take a leadership position about, but you have some feelings about it. Like maybe you, maybe in your relationship dynamic, this is just an example. Um, you thought that, he, you know, your partner was going to take care of, I don't know, like organizing the bills or something because you felt like they were, they were, they were better suited to that. But it turns out that they're not, or you feel like there's things that you, that you thought that they would just take care of on their own, but you're having to take the, um, the reins on that. And it's causing you to bear your emotions about it. But you're being, you're being encouraged to keep an open mind because we all have different things about us. We all have our strengths and we all have our challenges. And sometimes even though we expect our partners to do X, Y, Z, it just might, might not be part of their experience, a part of their, um, you know, fabric. And if it's part of ours, then we can be a compliment to them. And, you know, hopefully also they can compliment, um, they can bring, a, you know, complimentary things to the relationship dynamic as well. So you might see that today. I wonder how that's going to manifest for you or if it has already and it's this is causing you to reflect. If you enjoyed this reading, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you for tomorrow's. Let's move on to the next reading and that's represented by the Tiger's Eye. So your angel romance card is let go of control issues. It says, allow the situation to unfold naturally. You have a procession of angels looking over a couple and their child. Um, there is distance between them and they're certainly not happy. There is, there isn't a smile on their face or their eyes. Let's get some clarification on uh, how or I and uh, what will happen if you uh, let go of some control issues. Here you have the world in reverse and you also have the three of cups in reverse. So this tells me that you're running out of energy and perhaps the you know, there is a lack of cohesion. So Tiger's Eye Group, I'm getting the indication today that perhaps in your romantic um, dynamic, uh, you you feel that you're pouring forth a lot of energy or they feel like they're pouring forth a lot of energy um, and things are out of balance and you guys aren't working together. Um, maybe you're wanting to take the reins on a whole bunch of things or they are wanting to take the reins on many things and it's causing... Um, it's causing uh, disharmony in in the way that things are operating within you know your dynamic. We all can't do everything. We all can't do. We have two hands, right? If we ha if we had octopus arms or hands, and maybe we could do more. But we have two. So you know, do your best with what you have. But especially when you're in a partnership, um, you're able to lighten your load because you guys are able to share your load. 
right? So yes, you don't have two hands, but I mean four hands, but your partner might, and you guys can use your hands together. Um, you know, and I'm also thinking that perhaps this is, this will manifest in a way that um, if you're trying to be very controlling and t because maybe you feel like there's a deadline, maybe some of you feel are feeling like there's a deadline. This is the word that's coming to my mind. And um, you're just wanting to make sure that you reach the deadline, that you complete the things by the deadline, that you're just trying to slog through everything. But really, um, by you doing this, you're causing, again, that disharmony, um, that lack of cohesion, and it's not helping the situation. So you're being encouraged to lean upon those in your inner circle, lean upon your loved ones, lean upon your person and know that you can share the control as opposed to take all the control or they can share the control as opposed to take all the control. So you might see that where maybe someone is letting go of control or you might see where um, someone is holding on to control a little bit too much today. Ah, but remember, when we love people, We can give grace. Of course, if you can give grace, but you know, don't forget to give your loved ones grace as you want grace yourself. If you enjoyed this reading, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's move on to the last reading. And that's represented by the blue lapis lazuli. Your angel romance card is children. And there's two kids here and there. A couple of dogs. Oh, and there's a puppy. A puppy in, in, in her arms. And this card says, your love life is being affected by children. Oh boy, can a love life be affected by children. <laughs> that is for sure. They can bring so much joy and so much life and so much love. Um, and they can also bring tiredness, exhaustion, fatigue. <laughs> oh man, how many times can you clean oatmeal off of a floor? Anywho, so here we have the Seven of Cups in the upright position, Brand Stark. I think we've had this card earlier in the week. Um, and we also have the Eight of Swords, but in reverse. So Blue Lapis Lazuli Group, I'm getting the indication today that perhaps you feel that um, you're having to make many decisions or just a lot of action regarding your children or ch the children that are in your life. And it's, um, it's causing you to feel like you can't go forward with something in regards to your romantic relationship. Maybe you are wanting to go on a date with your, with your person, or maybe you were wanting to, um, set something up for them and you're, and you have all these ideas, but you don't feel like you have enough time or energy because of, um, the children or a child in your life. You know, just know that all of these things come in cycles. Children are children forever. They're literally growing every day. And, um, with time, your, your need to help and the level of help that you give them or, you know, direct, I don't know how else to say it, not necessarily help, but you know, uh, uh, oh, it starts with an F, the word starts with an F, uh, not facilitating, scaffolding, you know, it'll become less and less as time goes by. So this won't be forever. Do what you have to do. Make the decisions you have to make, you know, focus on what you have to focus on, but keep your, keep your person in mind. Uh, keep yourself in mind as well so that way you don't feel any regret or anger because you were having to you know use your um energy and uh, on on the children as opposed to the other things in your life you're not only are you necessarily a parent or an aunt or an uncle or a caregiver but you're also the person you know that you were born you were that per you're also the person you were before the little people came into your life. And now you're all of those things together. So just make sure you balance that out or tr just try your best. And if you need help, ask for it. If you enjoyed this reading, and I hope you enjoyed this reading, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope to see you for tomorrow's I do this on a daily basis and have a great day no matter who you are and no matter where you are. Bye.